This video shows how to install and use Void, which is a free open source replacement of Cursor. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In the last one year or so, we have seen emergence of AI code editors where AI enables you to breeze through coding by predicting your next code edit. You can talk to your code repos and you can ask models to code for you and much much more. One such popular tool is Cursor, but it has become way too commercial and that is where this new tool Void is trying to help. Void is open source Cursor alternative. You can use AI agents on your code base with the help of this. You can even visualize your changes, you can checkpoint them and you can bring any model or host locally, which means that you can use llama.cpp, you can use LM Studio or Olama with this Void. Void sends messages directly to providers without retaining your data. So you should be rest assured for your privacy and security. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I also want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation. So let's get started. First up, let's go to Void's website and I will drop the link to it in video description. You can install it for Windows and Mac at the moment, both on Intel and ARM architecture. So I'm just simply going to click on this Windows and it is going to download the exe. Just click on it and then keep. This is because this tool is not that well known. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And now you can simply click on this open file. This is going to run this exe. And then you can simply accept the agreement, which is Apache license. It's very, very permissive. And then simple uh, next, next. You can simply just keep doing it. It's a typical Windows install. So let's wait for it. and void is installed let's click on finish and it is going to launch the void for you first time there will be a splash screen and then it will go from there first time it takes a bit of a time to load just click on get started okay now there is some free tier where you can access the Google Gemini model or open router. You can go with the paid option, which means that OpenAI, Anthropic and other providers, you can access it in the cloud. Maybe cloud means that uh, the managed services in the hyperscalers like Google's Vertex AI or Light LLM and maybe OpenAI is compatible. I'm surprised there is no AWS support, but maybe you can do that. But I'm just going to go with local here. So this is where it is going to at the Olama. So my Olama is not here yet. I'll quickly show you that too. And then simply you can run it with Olama or VLLM, which is a very lightweight inference engine or LM studio. So, and then you can add the model too. So I'm just going to uh, pause this here and I'm not going to move forward. I first want to install Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, there are two things you need to do. First, you need to just go to my channel, search with Olama. I have done more than thousand videos on Olama and I'm not exaggerating. It's one of the easiest tools to run large language models locally. So search my channel, get acquainted with it. Installation is fairly simple. Just click on download, then download it for Windows. Again, it is going to download the exe. And in a similar fashion, you just need to click on open file once this is done downloading. And once you will click on that open file, this is a screen which you will get. Just simply click on install and it is going to install the Olama on my local system. And by the way, this uh, system has um, one GPU card installed with 24 GPU of VRAM. But if you don't have a GPU, just go with a very smallish model which might run on CPU. But if you are really doing it on some a real world use case i would highly suggest that at least have 24 gp of vram and go with a better coding model uh, anything in the 7 billion one with some good quad from olama at least start with q4 quad 
and the olama is installed and you can see that olama is running here but there is no model let's download the coding model there are various options and i have done a lot of comparison video but let's go with any model here so i have just typed code on olama's website let's go with code gemma i'm just going to go with this um, quant which is available in order to download and run this just click on this olama run code gemma go back to your terminal or powershell prompt run this olama run code gemma it is going to download this model and it is going to verify the checksum then okay so model is now downloaded and running so i'm just going to minimize it and we are going to go back to our terminal here and this is the default port where olama runs at 11434 at localhost so i'm just going to keep it as is as it is already there i'll just go down and then you see it all automatically selected uh, this model i'll just toggle it on again code jamma latest you can add more models too if you like but i'm just going to stay with this and then let's click on enter the void and by the way this void is a fork of vs code so you can also um you know whatever your experience is in the vs code it's the same experience here too so let me open one of the local folder here and the first time i'm just going to trust the author here and let me actually make it a bit bigger i'm just going to zoom in let's do i know i can use the keyboard shortcut but anyway so let's select this maybe i'll just go with this print statement here now you see on the right hand side is where the magic is it's already selected our code jamma latest here from olama and then you can just talk with it for example you can use add sign to mention control l to add a selection and then it's a very similar to what you can do in cursor it's a sort of a drop in replacement so i have just asked you to summarize my code base it is loading the model and stuff maybe i would also show you my vram consumption quickly and there you go it has summarized my code base as you can see here on the left hand side in that um, chat and then you can similarly you can simply do you know maybe i will just say i'll block it and then control capital l and then it has made the block you can see also here and you can see say that convert or maybe just say comment this code junk something like that whatever and then i'll just come down and there you go it says there's an explanation and this is a code added you can click here and it is going to apply it you can click tick box to check it out so you see the experience is very good i really really like it the thing which as is as you can already tell which i love about it is that it is integrated with olama all private all local you can use it with any model of your choice as long as it is supported there you can integrate it with vllm and also with lm studio i'm also going to make a video with vllm on windows so stay tuned and we will be also playing it uh, playing more uh, with this tool and there are various tasks which you can do with it for example if you click on this plus sign to open a new chat you can ask it to create a brand new program to write a python program that reads a text file containing a list of urls so once you run it you can see how fast that is it's all running local it already has done it and then you can simply go up you can apply it is applying it here there you go so this is your whole code how good is that and then you can accept the file now i can maybe i'll just uh, remove this from here i'll save it i can maybe ask that control l and i'll say debug this code it is running it already found it i'll just apply and then it has uh, i'll just go down okay so it didn't work this time now it has blocked it okay 
what happened there okay i'll just it seems that a tool crashed but that is fine if that happens what i have found is that all you need to do is to just open a new chat and then from there you can uh, do it again so i'll just say debug this chat and then run it again and this time it was able to fix the code and then you can accept it and go from there it, ha it has also given us some description on the right hand side now another thing um, which is quite good about this tool is that if you're not happy with any feature you can simply go to their github repo do a pull request and contribute to this project it's all open source and community driven so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching